It was the end of April this year. A very pitta couple arrived at central Taiwan. They found a cozy spot in a trench close to a slope to build their nest and laid five eggs. In about two weeks, this year's new baby birds would see the world. This was a tense moment. They were making their nest stronger as they were about to face the ultimate test of natural predators. Female and male fairy pittas took turns to tend their eggs. The one who was not tending the nest was standing guard nearby. Once an intruder was found too close to their nest, it would start a series of shrieking warnings, hoping to scare the intruder away. Why did these fairy pittas come to this trench to build their nest? That's because there were an abundance of earthworms here. It was very easy for them to find food here. But with the presence of fairy pittas, crested goshawks, Besra sparrowhawks, snakes, and even Formosan macaques started to gather around, as they are all natural enemies to the fairy pittas. Researchers found that in order to avoid the attack of macaques, these birds even bring macaques' droppings back to their nest as an effort to escape from the attacks by confusing the macaques to make wrong decisions. Half a month later, the fairy pitta couple had five chicks, and the parents started getting busy. They took turns to bring back earthworms, their main diet, and occasional insects, such as grasshoppers and cicadas, to feed these hungry mouths. However, a killer hawk showed up and kept circling around for its next meal. Before long, it caught itself a rat. Seeing this, the couple became more careful and vigilant. They kept picking up their children's droppings and dumping them far away so that the smell wouldn't attract disaster. Two weeks later, with the mom and dad pushing and leading, the five young chicks were ready to leave the nest. Each of the parents brought with it a small group of chicks and taught them the skills of flying and feeding. They would need two or three weeks of learning before they could survive on their own. But sadly, none of the five chicks survived the talons of raptors. They all became meals of crested goshawks. At present, there are only some 10,000 fairy pittas left in the world, and a third of them will come to Taiwan for breeding right before the beginning of summer. They live at the bottom of the forest because of their shiny, colorful coat of feathers, fairy pittas are nicknamed flying jewels. Fairy pittas come to Taiwan year after year and build their nests at the same areas. Therefore, locals are very familiar with fairy pittas in Taiwan, as their habitats often overlap with where we live. Scientists consider them as a vital index of environmental monitoring. To protect them is to protect the environment we live in. However, a monitoring report of 2008 suggests that the number of fairy pittas is showing signs of decrease. They are not seen or heard in some places. This is an ecological alarm that we have to pay attention to. Many people may wonder, are they coming next year?